After all this time, I was so excited to finally change my outfit and you can only wear these four uniforms. Maybe it's because I'm such a sucker for character customization, but this is honestly the most disappointing thing about this game. Like, I just want to wear some different clothes. Game Freak, why you gotta do this to me? Welcome back to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I wanted to take a moment and show off the title screen for the first time, which is definitely a lot simpler than what we got in Pokemon Sword and Shield. But while we're here, I wanted to real quick give a shout out to Studio Nimai, who are the animators that created the intro for this series, as well as my Pokemon Sword and Shield playthrough. And I absolutely love what they've done. It's basically everything I imagined in the sketches and storyboard, plus more, because you might have noticed a couple of Easter eggs hidden here and there. So go check them out in the description below as they have a bunch more Pokemon and original animations that I think you guys will really enjoy. Now in the last episode, we left off right at the gates to the big city, Mezigoza, and today we're going to be heading inside, but not before I show off the craziest thing that has ever happened to me this early in a playthrough. We got our very own shiny Pachirisu, which I still honestly cannot believe that it happened this early, and I really wonder if we're going to end up finding any more shinies throughout the rest of this playthrough. Look at him, so freaking cute. But yeah, we're gonna be heading into Mezagoza today, the Barcelona-inspired big central city of this game. So if you're excited as well, don't forget to hit that like button. The music in this game is top-notch, dude. It's very subtle, but they're all remixes of like older Pokemon music. Oi! Yes? You don't gotta scream all the time, girl. Did you battle some trainers on the hill? Bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. How about you show me just how much you all have learned in a battle? Sure thing. All right, nothing like having a friend around. Come on, Orange, let's have a fruitful battle, hello? Are you saying that because my name is Orange? Or are you trying to imply something else? I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Anyway, this is the battle that I remember from the trailer where Nimona's gonna be showing off her brand new Pommy, or I guess not yet. She's gonna kick things off with Coco, and we're gonna kick things off with Seijin, the shiny Pachirisu. You seem like you're getting better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon! Little does she know that we've actually got a full team of six already. And I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to Quaxley just to make this easier on ourselves. I don't wanna take too long to take out this Coco. And even though Shiny Pachirisu is pretty amazing, his Thunder Shock doesn't really do all that much damage. Oh god, the Ember, it burns! Not really though, I mean, <laughs> obviously it's not very effective. So Quaxley can definitely take it. And we got a critical hit. You really work your type matchups. I can tell how badly you want- Hey, what? Really? That shows that I'm tryharding just because I know type matchups? I mean, I understand the critical hit a little bit more, but that's not on me either, girl. That's just dumb luck. And it looks like Pococo actually has a new move there. Was that round that I saw? I didn't pay attention, but the animation definitely looked like round or some kind of like sound-based move. But with a pound, we'll finish it off and nice. Get a lot of XP for the whole team and wing attack already. Okay. Even though Quaxley, I don't think evolves into a flying type. Wing attack makes sense because it is still, you know, a bird. It does have wings, so... Yeah, I did expect it to learn some flying moves. Oh wait, we're gonna learn something else too? I'm guessing it's another Pokemon though. Yeah, we got Fido learning Covet. I guess I'll go ahead and grab that, why the heck not? I do love how speedy everything is in this game so far, but... And some things seem to take a little bit, like the XP growing. It's a little bit slow, but that's just me being nitpicky at this point. Next up, Nimona is gonna go for her Pommy, so we're switching over to Whoopi. Doing even better than I expect- What? Excuse me? You didn't think I was legit? Until now? Okay, Nimona, I see how it is. Just wait until we can actually use Goraidon in battle, and she's gonna know exactly what- Wait a minute. She's gonna pull out her ace in the hole. <gasps> is it really time? Yes! 
we're gonna get to see terrestrializing for the first time and it's actually gonna be Pommy. she did hint at it in our last battle but this is the first time we've actually seen the electric teratite transformation and it has a giant light bulb on its head now in case you guys don't know terrestrializing is a new feature here in pokemon scarlet and violet where a pokemon can change its type and in the case of Pommy here it has now become a pure electric type even though Pommy was already just an electric type but let's just say that it had like a secondary typing when it terrestrializes it becomes just the single type that's on its head and it powers up moves of that type so it's electric moves in this case would have been more powerful if it could actually hit our whooper but because it's ground type that means that uh, Pommy is gonna get absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Whoopi's gonna learn Poison Tail. Nice. I actually forgot to give Whoopi his nickname. I mean, I guess I just didn't even come up with one when we caught it, but can't believe how fast you're improving. Okay, we get a little bit more money. I know how rich you are down in Mona. You can't hide behind the fact that we're still so early in the game. <laughs> Amazing. Look at you taking on a terrestrialized opponent and winning no problem. Come to think of it, you can't terrestrialize your own Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon battles, I forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was fun to battle you. Here, have some revives as thanks. Did they really expect some of your Pokemon to faint from this battle? Like, that was not that tough. Though I guess I do know my type matchups pretty well. Now, Mezigos is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is! There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm gonna take a quick breather and then catch up with you soon. Okay, I'm ready to head into city right now, as we hear the great gates creaking. It is time to explore Mezagoza! Possibly the biggest city ever in Pokemon? Just look at this place, oh man! I don't know what I want to do first. I mean, there's clothes shops, there's maybe hairstyling. I wonder if there are more options than just what they gave us at the beginning of the game. And then of course there's the school, which is huge in itself. And the reason why this is actually the only loading as far as I know in the game. All right, here we are. We finally made it. Yes, it's about time. This is Mezikoza, the biggest city in Paldea. And maybe the whole world. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. Lots of folks come here to learn about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a hair salon where you can change your look, plus places with tasty food. Confirmed we can change our hair. Even though I really just want this hat off. What do you want to see first, Orange? The hair salon, yeah! You're a fashionista, are ya? Or maybe you just want a practical do that won't get in your eyes when you're battling. Oh, and speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too. There's a few things that gotta get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Meanwhile, you just have a fun looking around the city for a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories, spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you've got to see Delibird presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. There's a whole shop just for held items now? Once you've seen your fill, we can meet up again in the front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to school are no joke. Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Heck yeah. I can't wait, dude. Well, I can't wait a little bit because I do want to explore the city a bit. I don't even know where to begin. Like Nimona said, there's so much to see, so much to do. So what's wrong with... Uh, I forgot the lyrics, but I was trying to do the, the star smash mouth. Would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? Oh yeah, we did buy some last episode, but I don't think I really got to use the full effects of them because immediately after I just stopped recording. So we'll save uh, eating more ice cream for later. What's up with this guy here? Oh my god, he's got a little starly. Uh, what's up with his hands though? I know they're supposed to be resting on your knees, but uh, they seem to be floating a bit. <laughs> I don't know why, some of these NPCs remind me of Sonic 06, which is like a notoriously glitchy game. I mean, this game isn't like 
super bad, but there are definitely some noticeable pop-ins like you saw in the background there. Also, the FPS of some characters when you're too far away. Basically just shortcuts to make sure that the game can run smoothly. And speaking of shortcuts, uh, you can't actually see the inside of the store either, but you can still browse the menu. And those spicy potatoes are looking pretty good, dude. I just had breakfast though, thankfully, so I'm not gonna get too hungry, but usually in Pokemon games when I see delicious food, or in any media in general, like especially in anime, food always looks so freaking delicious and makes me hungry immediately, but thankfully I just ate, like I said, so we're fine. Got baratos here. Oh my god, the Pikachu gelato. <gasps> no, the pommy steak, bro. How are you gonna do that? <laughs> we got a little throwback to Galar too with the curry. Man, that is so weird. I was talking about last episode how obviously people don't eat Pokemon, but they literally make their steak into the shape of them. Like, way to make it obvious. We got a paella de paldea. And a cloth a la- oh my god, alright, well, it's confirmed now, people definitely eat Pokemon. <laughs> I was being sarcastic in the last episode, but at the same time, they hadn't make it, or made it, super obvious. Now it definitely is. Like, they're straight up serving cloth crab claws. This looks like a bit of a shady alley over here. The girl said it was a dead end, but there seems to be a lot going on back here. Some meals to fill you with egg power. So, like, you can hatch eggs quicker? Alright, I guess I might as well stop checking out all of these shops because they seem to sell the same things. Let's head back to the main square where we've got a Pokemon Center and a little girl playing Genshin Impact or something. I don't know what mobile games people play these days, but can we actually talk to these guys? Oh, nice, they turn around for us. How convenient. I don't really need any items right now. I do want to check the held item shop, though. Actually, might be a good idea to open our map up. Probably better to zoom in more and we can see all of the different... Oh my gosh, what? There's multiple clothes shops? And Chansey Supplies, Shore Cans, Delicioso. Oh, there's Deli Bird Presents. I think that's the one that Nimona said uh, sells held items. But I do also want to check out some of these clothes shops, which apparently there's one right here called Baggins. Let's go. Well, first to Baggins, which I'm guessing is on the other side of... What the heck is up with that ladder? I'm gonna guess that we can't climb up there. Hello! It's Munch from the future, and you most definitely can climb up the ladder, as you can see. I'm doing it right now. But I really wonder what the heck is up here, because... Oh god, okay, maybe I shouldn't have tried to do the cinematic angle. Alright, we made it. But I don't really see anywhere we can go, unless you can just jump off the roof over here. Kind of scared though. Oh wait, I totally see a TM over there. So yeah, we can definitely jump down and get ourselves a TM for Electro Ball. Nice. Now how do I get down? This is it, the center of the city. Yo, I definitely get some Delfino Plaza from Mario Sunshine vibes. But also Sonic 06, which I was mentioning, there was a city in that game that looked very similar to this. I remember that's where you fight Silver the Hedgehog and the Notorious, there's no use, boss battle. Welcome to Baggins, yes. You can see some of the logos from Gala region there that I think were like the different clothes brands, I guess. Uh, what am I even looking at? Oh, canvas backpack, okay. So we got backpacks in here. Is that all that they sell? I guess that would make sense because the store is called Baggins, you know, they sell bags. Not really what I'm looking for though. Uh, the main thing I want is to actually take off my hat. I don't really even care that much about changing my hairstyle. This actually looks like it's a hat shop. Oh yes, hats and caps to tickle your fancy. Does that mean we can also take off our hat if we click A on the one that we already have? Wait, it says that we've already got this purchased. What? When did I ever buy this? Excuse me? Seems we already own that piece. I do not remember ever buying this. I guess maybe you get some other clothes by default. But we haven't seen anywhere where we can actually, like, try it on. There's a shop just for socks. Bro, this game is crazy. I mean, I'm not a big fan of the socks that we're wearing right now. So maybe we can find something nice here. I will say it takes quite a bit to load your character in. Like the preview for you to see what the item looks like. I believe the store that I marked on the map, the Delibird shop, 
It's not this one. This looks like it's the Chansey store. Yeah, Chansey supply. I'd like to buy. Ooh, we got X items and uh, the herbs that are like the alternative for healing Pokemon if you don't want them to get their happiness all the way up. I mean, like, it actually lowers a Pokemon's happiness if you feed it those herbs, but they're definitely cheaper and they heal for more. But the Deli Bird store says it's over here? What the heck? Are you the Deli Bird? What? I'm pretty sure it's this over here. Why did it take us to the fountain? I'm kind of confused, but is this it? No, this is the grill. Excuse me? Maybe the shop is like down under us? Because the pointer on the minimap took us here. So let's uh, just go for a little bit of a loop around. I do really like the design of this town though. Oh, is that a side quest? Yes, your phone can reveal what? I can study your Rotom phone to peer into the past. Your past, it drifts before my eyes. I see a life you lived once in, where is this? Kanto, Galar, Sinnoh, Hisui? I mean, I've played all of those games before. Guess I'll go with Hisui though. Yes, yes, it's coming to clear focus. In this previous life, you once tread the grounds of Hisui. Oh wait, is this where we get like the special? <gasps> yeah, we get the Rotom phone cases. Let's go. So if you have save data, from previous Pokemon games, you can get different Rotom phone cases. But where do we actually... Oh my god, that is... <laughs> not what I meant to do, I'm sorry lady. Bit of an invasion of privacy there, but... Where do we go to actually change our Rotom phone case? Maybe... Literally in the Rotom phone? No? I don't really get where we can customize, like, our character. There's no bag slot for, like, clothes? And the Pokemon Center doesn't have a changing room anymore like it did in X and Y. Oh, is this the Deli Bird presence? I mean, there's a giant present right there, but I can't even talk to this guy. Que bien! Oh, I love how some people speak Spanish. That is just like amazing. Smartphone cases. Okay, is this where we can change it then? Welcome to Deli Bird presents. Battle items, general good. Rotom phone cases. All right, we can buy some other ones too. Sprigatito. Oh, that's so cute. They have. What? We can't even see what it looks like? I mean, I guess you can see the little sprite there, which is enough. So you have the three starters and then different colors. Uh, but how do I change into the one that I already own? The lady didn't even really explain it. Unless it already changed and I didn't even notice. But there's also battle items like Nimona said. Miracle Seed, Charcoal, Mystic Water would be the one for Huaxley. Although we could also get him a Sharp Beak since he's got Wing Attack. Uh, there's also Wise Glasses, those are pretty good. And more so Ability Shield, wait a minute. That's new. Cute and rather unique looking shield protects the holder from having its ability changed by others. Oh, I guess I should have assumed that from the name, but I thought it might be something more OP. I mean, it does cost 20k. Oh, right, I never actually checked out the Barber Shop. Let's see if maybe this is where we can change up our fit. Welcome, buenas muchacho. Oh my god. <laughs> This was Puerto Rico, she would have called us Mi Amor, or Mi Rey, or Mi Corazon. I don't know why people here are very romantic, even with like, randoms like that you don't know that well. They'll call you like, cute things like that. But it seems like these are all of the options that we had from the beginning of the game. There's no like, new haircuts, at least so far, but maybe in later cities, well, I mean there's not really big cities like Mezagoza is the only one in the whole game, so I don't know if we're gonna have other kinds of hair in the future, but I do like the one that I went with the most, so no, I wanna just stay with what I had before. How do I... Oh, there's a reset button. Okay, let's just go back to what we had from the start. I really just wanna change my clothes. Wait, is she still gonna charge me? So I'm here three days later. And I finally figured out how to change my clothes. You're not gonna believe this. All you have to do is hit right on the D-pad. I don't know why I never tried that. And as you can see, we've already got a couple of different uniforms. Wait, what the heck? Was there even a difference between the- Oh wait, I was already wearing the summer uniform. The spring uniform is gonna be this one? We got suspenders, okay. There's also the autumn uniform, where you have a life vest, for some reason? Did you just fall asleep, homie? And finally, the winter uniform, which is probably my favorite, just because it kind of hides that 
hideous school outfit the most. And to be honest, the long pants don't look that bad. Like, they look like something I might actually wear to like a fancy dinner or something. I don't know. Bro, what is this? We look even dumber than we did before. Oh my god. We really can't change your individual clothing? It's only the uniforms. What? After all this time, I was so excited to finally change my outfit and you can only wear these four uniforms. Maybe it's because I'm such a sucker for character customization, but this is honestly the most disappointing thing about this game. Like, I don't even care about the glitches and technical aspects that everyone's talking about. I just want to wear some different clothes. Game Freak, why you gotta do this to me? I want to move on to the school. Like, there doesn't seem to be that much in terms of side quests around the city. Definitely a lot of customization that you can do, but... Oh, hoo -hoo, what is going on here? Got some new characters, it seems. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. This girl don't look like the last thing she wants to do is shine. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already! Um, I'd rather not. <laughs> we can just walk away? No, that's not my style. I'll always help the little guy. Oh my god, it seems like we're smaller than her. Huh? You want in on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get you two next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star, kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. But you knew that, right? Uh, sure? No, come on. We gotta be for real. Another ignorant little nobody? Ugh. Here I'm finally part of Team Star and still I get no respect. I gotta work my way up the ranks. How annoying. Hey, you can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh-faced nobody ends up seeing stars. Oh, why you gotta walk so far? We really need that much space for Pokemon battling? Oh my god, the intro, I love it. We we're challenged by our first Team Star Grunt. And she's gonna have a Shrewdle, yo! Another new Pokemon there! So cute! In case you don't know, that is actually the pre-evolution of Grafii, the Graffiti Pokemon. Quite a surprise, honestly. Like, I never thought that Grafii would have a pre-evolution of all things. Like, I thought maybe it might actually evolve into something bigger, but... No, it's actually got a tiny little form with its tongue sticking out and a little paintbrush on its head. That is amazing. Like I said though, during the Modus battle, our little Pachirisu doesn't really do the much or most damage compared to other Pokemon on my team, but we gotta get it more experience so that it does catch up to the rest of the squad. And actually, there we go! Level 8 at least, and she only had one Pokemon? How come I'm the one seeing stars? Probably the glasses or shades. Ugh, why is it nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, he beat you? Does that mean I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up? Pero bueno, what do you think you're doing? Ooh, the upperclassmen is here to put him in their place. Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it. I can't believe you, Orange. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me! Oh my god, is she getting a little jealous? That's not really what happened. It was Team Star Punks! Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. Oh, really? What gave it away? Uh, hi! We weren't doing none of that. Well, that explains it. As head of the student council, stopping this type of nonsense would normally be my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift! We get terrestrializing right now? Yo! The Terra Orb! And it looks like it is a water crystal in there, so... 
Does that mean it depends on your starter? Or is that just the generic terrestrial symbol? With this orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon. Let's see. After it terrestrializes, I'm pretty sure your Pachirisu will be... Wait, what? Pachirisu? Excuse me? Is it just the first Pokemon on your team? Or maybe we can terrestrialize whatever Pokemon we want right now. Like, it doesn't matter which starter you picked or anything. Got a problem? You wanna battle with me instead? Oh, never mind. I'll take my chances with the new kid. Then take your places and... Battle! Let's go! Terrestalizing! The most convoluted name for any Pokemon gimmick. But maybe potentially going to be one of the best ones so far. Definitely better than Gigantamaxing, I'll tell you that much. Here in the Paldea region, Pokemon can crystallize through a strange phenomenon called Terrestalizing. You can Terrestalize by selecting the Terrestalize button! Sorry, I felt like I had to scream it because of the all caps. When a Pokemon changes type to its Terra type, yes, we know exactly how it works. Except for this, actually. After terrestrializing, you won't be able to do it again until you heal at a Pokemon Center. Ah. Oh. So you can only use it once, not even per battle, but until you go back to the Pokemon Center. Oh, that's so cool. Well, actually, I want to make sure, or I guess test, if we can do it to any Pokemon. So let's switch over to Quaxi. I want to see Quaxi have its, like, fountain on its head. Oh, maybe I should have done it on Fido. So I want to see what the fairy type Terrastal hat might look like. Here comes Young Goose. Oh my god, that bite actually kind of hurt. Oh, dude, that's so cool. Like the sound effect and the visuals of it right there on screen. That is crazy. And you might also notice that our water gun has like a symbol or like a weird thing going around it, like uh, that old snake game. And that shows you which move will be boosted when you terrestrialize. So because our Quaxley's Terra-type is Water-type, that means it will terrestrialize into Water-type. And all of our Water moves will do increased damage. But yeah, our Water Gun might actually just one-shot this young goose. Well, not quite. But it did do a lot more damage than it would have before we terrestrialize. I should have actually checked, like, before we terrestrialize how much damage it would have done. But then I guess we wouldn't have known exactly because we would have finished it off in the second turn. But Terrestrializing, unlike Gigantamax, actually lasts for the whole rest of the battle or until your Pokemon faints, I guess. Your Pokemon burns so bright! Wait, did I just get money twice? There you go, it's gone until we go to the Pokemon Center, I suppose. Nice job, you pulled out Terrestrializing, no problem! Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder! Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center, though. Well, I'll be on my merry way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! Me too! Hasta la vi- Really? That's your catchphrase, guys? So, yeah. Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, just... well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. Okay... Aw, oh, look at you, Orange. Already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around, though. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That Eevee bag though, love that fluff. Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in the world. That's not true. My own high school actually had the worst staircase and all of my classes just so happened to be on the third floor. Okay, actually that does look pretty daunting. And we don't have Koraidon to help us get up here faster either, so. Just gotta walk all the way up. Oh, okay. We made it to the Naranja Academy. Let's go. I'm actually oddly excited about going back to school. Like, it's been 10 years since I graduated high school. I'm a freaking old man at this point. But this Naranja Academy building oddly reminds me of the school I went to here in Puerto Rico. Okay, we didn't have a library like that, but 
It actually did have kind of a Hogwarts castle vibe because it's like an old colonial era building. Here we are, Naranja Academy. This here is the entrance hall. You can sign up for all kinds of classes at the desk behind me, and those halls off to the sides lead to all different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they ban Pokemon battling in the main end. Yeah, I wonder why. Certainly not all those books around could accidentally catch on fire or something. How did you find your first commute? I mean, it was I. I imagine Miss Nona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion-ranked student. Reliable as ever, Miss Nimona. Ten points for Gryffindor! Oh, but speaking of, we saw some of those Team Star Kids in town, Director. Damn, she's gonna rat on them? I guess she is the student council president, but they were hassling a kid with an Eevee backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? Actually, Orange flexed on him and re Flexed on him? Pokemon really said flex on him! <laughs> you don't say! Of course, it's a fine thing to try and help a fellow student, Master Orange. But you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at our academy. And Miss Nimona, do remember that the school staff is here to resolve any troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A child with an Eevee backpack. You say, I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class at least. Uh, Miss Nimona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jock about this Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept apprised of all such going-ons. You got it, sir. But look at the time. You two had better hurry to class. It'll be starting soon. We're in class 1A, yo! Like my hero? That means we're the main characters, let's go! Love that logo. Might just have to change my little channel avatar to that. Good morning, Good morning Mr. Jock. Jock! Hello, hello, everyone! We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me, me, I wanna hear! I thought it was the little kid, but I suppose I should have told you sooner. We have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. Who are you calling little? Whisper, 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 whisper. I wonder what they'll be like. All right, you can come on in. Come on, you don't gotta make a big deal about it, bro. I already feel embarrassed enough showing up late. <laughs> can I trouble you for a few words introducing yourself? Sure. I'm orange? Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you. All right then, who wants to be the first to ask our new friend a question? Me, me, can I get a question? What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? Uh, I like everything about them. Really? I'm totally the same. Does anyone else have a question for their new classmate? Oh, Nimona. You went to all the trouble of enrolling here, so spill, Orange. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? To be the best, like no one ever was! I mean, I guess that would be the second option is the closest thing, right? You will be! Oh, I just know it! You and me, we're gonna get to the strong battling together! Well, thank you for telling us a bit about yourself. I'm Mr. Jock. I teach biology here at the academy, and I'm also your homeroom teacher. Yo! My first year of high school... Homeroom was actually biology too. This is kind of crazy. That's your seat, second row from the front. And I sat right there too. Oh my god. All right, you ragamuffins, excuse me? What does that mean? <laughs> Never heard that term before. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring a bit on your own. So like I was saying, I've been really excited about the school because there's like different classes that you can go to, and I wonder if they're gonna be like mini games that maybe help power up your Pokemon or give you other items and things. Uh, so far, we can only go to the cafeteria or the staff room. Dude, this is kind of like Persona. Like you've got different classmates in different rooms. Or I guess Digimon Survive, which I also played recently, had a similar system where the different characters were in different rooms to interact with. And here in the staff room, we've got the current champion? Or, I guess, one of them? Very well, Champion Nimona. 
I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing! You can count on me! In fact, I bet this is gonna be fun! I'm glad to hear it. Good day then. Yo, the drip though! Kinda forgot her name. I think it was Gita? Or Gita. People are telling me how to pronounce it, but I'm not very good at that kind of accent. Oh, Orange, hey! Who the frinkle dink was that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is? Well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. La Primera, huh? That means the first. So was she the first champion? Well, since your heart's already set on becoming a really strong trainer, I got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Yeah! Oh wow! Hang on though, I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Oh, come on! The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to get the official title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on the eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their batches. Once you've done all that, all that's left is the champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last you'll be champion. Or a champion. It's every trainer's dream. The coolest title anyone could ever hope for. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt? It's a special independent study thing we've got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of this school year. It's great! You get to leave school to go and have an adventure and learn however you want! I guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer, but... You didn't even get any money from it? How the heck could you afford that house then? Anyway, I've got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app. In case you decide to go for it. Oh, you betcha butt! I'm gonna go for it. And also the other stuff that there is to do in the game. Oh, that's so cool! But what? They really spoil all the gym's types already? I mean, I guess I don't mind too much. Whoa! What an introduction! Victory Road! Give it some thought. Nothing to think about. I'm ready! I actually want to see those gyms again real quick. I'm guessing that we can do that on our map. Maybe if we like zoom out all the way. Oh, what the frick? It's empty. How do we like show off the gym leaders and stuff? We got profile. Oh, is this where we can change our looks? Change photo, change view. Huh. There's a few things in this game that I'm still not really sure of. But then again, we kind of just started playing. So let's head to the cafeteria up next. And talk to our friend Arvin. He was a bit of a butt in the first episode or last one when we met him. Maybe he's gotten a little nicer. So we meet again. You remember me, right? Uh, I don't think we've met. <laughs> what? Come on, I gave you Kuraidon's Pokeball. Did I forget to introduce myself? Well, the name's Arvin. No need to tell me your name. Orange, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you, our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. What's this dream you talking about? <laughs> Cut your interest, have I? You want to hear all about my dream, right? Well, this might come as a surprise, but... The fact is, I'm all about that picnic life! The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it! Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you that. Right now, I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food, see? I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica thingies. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as they eat it. Now, there are a total of five different types, based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, 
It'll even boost the immune system! These herbs seem like they're the real deal! Only found here in Paldea, and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokémon, meaning that it's gonna be pretty tough to try and grab even a few sprigs. You see, Titans are... Well, I think they've gotta be, like... this? Whoa! The Ancient Dawn Fan! Also known as the Monsters of Area Zero? I did not think we'd be seeing it this early in the game. One of our team suffered a brutal blow from such a beast and was mortally wounded. Excuse me? Pokemon, kill people now. Alright, I guess this truly is a next-gen game. We're no longer sugarcoating things out here. We got Dawn fans straight up murdering fools. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. Well, until now that is, right? Here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect! Yes! I got you! Nope, wait, I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems there might be Titans. Oh, look at his Rotom phone! That's so cool! He got a little Flabebe pattern. Very cute. And now we've got all of the Titan Lairs! The False Dragon, the Quaking Earth, Open Sky, Lurking Steel, and Stony Cliff. Well, we know the Stony Cliff is Cloth from the trailers, but all those other ones sound very intriguing, as now we've unlocked the Path of Legends. Let it stew a bit, and we can get more into the details later. In the meantime, take this! A little gift for listening and all. We get uh, some Stardust, okay. I mean, that's more than Nimona has given us so far. I think it might sell for more money at least. <laughs> Give the idea some serious thought, please! Oh, you gotta run off on me, though! Like, I thought we were bonding, bro! Oh, well. Rotato, rotato. Excuse me? This is Orange, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. This is Penny, isn't it? I'm sorry, but... Who? My name's Cassiopeia. Sure, but never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Orange. You know about Team Star, right? Yeah? Great. I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation, and I'd like you to be one of them. Uh, could I at least know who you are first? It's a little sketch to make deals with random people on the internet. Not that I haven't fallen prey to that before. Ah, Master Orange! Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school, won't you? I thought he was just gonna straight up confiscate our phone. Okay, I'll be more careful. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Whoa, that's a little sketch. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful about in this day and age. On you go then, young man. I feel like the seeds are already being planted for what the plot is of these games might be. I'm getting a certain vibe from Clavel that he's kind of holding on to the past a bit too much. Since we are playing Pokemon Scarlet, of course, the past is like the theme here? Calling Master Orange to the director's office. Bro, I just saw him once again. Master Or- I got you! That's a cute little jingle right there, though. And the Psyduck is even cuter. Oh my gosh. What is up with this little terminal right here, though? Where do you want to go? Oh, you can fast travel throughout the school. That's nice and convenient. Off to the director's office, then. Even though we were literally just talking to him. What is that on his wall? It looks like a fossil. Thank you for coming, Master Orange. Have you been enjoying your time here at the Academy? 
Yeah, except for when you were being all sketchy and eavesdropping. That is most wonderful to hear. Now, you may be wondering why we could not have simply conversed earlier in the cafeteria, but let me assure you, there's a reason why I asked you to meet me here in the office. It seems that a friend of mine has a rather serious matter they would like to discuss with you. Who? Is it Penny? I feel like Penny's like his granddaughter or something. It's gotta be, right? Ah, no, I'm afraid they aren't actually here in the room with us. One moment, please. Just allow me to connect us. <laughs> We're gonna do a Zoom call? Bro, does Clavel even know how to work a TV? I wouldn't be surprised with how much he's talking about the past. Oh my gosh, yo! Hello, Orange. It is nice to meet ya. My name is Professor Sada. I carry out Pokemon research with the Great Crater of Paldea, a site known as Area Zero. Oh, so that's what it's called. Okay. Doesn't really tell us much about it, except for when Arvin showed us the giant Dawn fan, I think he, or the book rather, referred to it as Area Zero. The professor is in fact a graduate of our fine academy, as well as a splendid researcher. Ex-alumni, huh? Well, allow me to get straight to the point. Orange, student ID 80, what? Am I a prisoner now? You are the student who travels with the unusual Pokemon Koraidon, is that correct? How the frick do you know that? Thank you. I appreciate you being honest and confirming. I guess Arvin must have told her. Ah, not that I... I don't mean to offend you. In fact, I wish to ask for your assistance. With... what? So many people need our help, man! Oh my gosh! Koraidon! This room's a little bit too big for you, bro! Or I guess you're too big for the room. How good to see that you're well! It has been quite a while since we last met. Koraidon was once in my care, you see. Ah, so she trained this dragon! Its Pokeball was also originally mine. I assume you received it from a young man called Arvin. I'm no longer in any position to be able to manage that Pokemon myself. This is why I would ask of you, will you continue looking after Koraidon on my behalf? Absolutely! A legendary? Right from the beginning, like who would turn that down? Koraidon is currently incapable of battle, but it can however take on a form specialized for mobility. In all likelihood, it will require some time to fully regain the capabilities it once had. I will provide you with my contact information. If you would please get out your phone. Damn, we got another lady's number? I'll be in regular contact going forward to keep your tabs on stat. First Nimona, now Sada, okay. Until then. And off she goes. I love Goraidon's cry, man. It's so mystical. Could this Pokemon have its origins within Area Zero? Hmm. Sada, don't tell me you actually did it. Did what? Has no one been able to go down there yet? So many questions! Well, it seems that the professor is asking quite the favor of you. But of course, the academy is always here to support it any way that we can. I do hope you'll continue to enjoy your school life together with that Goraidon. Right. I'll try my best, I suppose. But that's it. We got all of the story necessary, or at least I hope, of course. There's more! You're still here, Orange! Oof, getting called into the director's office. How'd you land in that much trouble already? Nah, I'm kidding. I know it wasn't like that. Mr. Jock wanted me to show you the way to your dorm. Your very own private room! Let's go check it out! Oh, is this where we can, like, change our clothes and other stuff that would make the most sense actually that we do that in private ta ta chan from today on this is your room oh my god we got a kitchen too actually it's as new to me as it is to you never been in here before it's not like we even live that far from the school like do we really need to stay in the dorm i mean it is more convenient i guess uh, we can west on our bed get our pokemon healed up I wonder if that also resets the terrestrializing. I would assume so, but then again, she specifically said to heal at the Pokemon Center. 
so don't know but we got like a grill a microwave and of course the bed that is going to be the end of this episode thank you all so much for watching and stay tuned for the next one we'll finally get to ride on koraidon this time for real right <laughs>